I'm back. Well, it was weird. I should probably put my pants back on. It's back! Sweet, working. Alright. I don't know what that was. Is it from connecting to Photon too many times? Or. I don't know. I don't, that's really. Twitch gods praising the praising of Twitch gods. Uh, I guess we're back. All right. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know. I had internet. Um, I just couldn't. OBS lost connection to um, to Twitch. Uh, I don't think I don't know if it was Twitch while I went. Other server, other channels were just fine. It might be my ISP. I don't know what it is. Um, but oh, how about why don't we make that? What, what you do in left side crash? I want you guys to, be able to see the game. The game uh, takes place a lot on this side, so I want you guys to, be able to see it. Uh, I have an idea for a 125 sub goal. Maybe we could get a higher tier internet or something, uh, since we don't have a goal yet for what's gonna happen at 125. So 125, we could maybe we could um, try to get our landlord to give us a better internet because we stream with pretty shit internet. What I realize is gonna happen is Saturday is gonna be a slight problem in that. Um, so this is our, for anyone who doesn't know, our first time here. This is our first time doing a Saturday stream. Um, we're celebrating the fact that we got 100 and now two subs on Twitch. And to celebrate our sub goal, we are adding a new day to the stream schedule. So we're going to have Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday streams from now on. Um, the worry, I think the problem I just realized is um, my roommates also stay here on Saturday. So during the week, my roommates are at, um, are not around, are not home. Because, uh, you know, I work from home and they don't. But on weekends, they will be home, which means there might be some bandwidth issues if people watch Netflix or download movies or upload files for their own use and stuff, right? Um, which they should be, you know, totally fine to do. Which might mean we have to get better internet to allow for. All right, uh, let's keep working though, now that we're back. Uh, I'm gonna change some of the stuff on the player. They move way too fast. So I'm gonna say seven. Uh, we're gonna say jump speed, I don't really know. Stick to ground force. Gravity multiplier, three. Uh, so we're going to work on camera effects. Oh, we were gonna to try to play the game. That's where everything went terribly wrong. So let's try that again. Build the game and play it. See what happens. So it auto joined. It looks like the build isn't joint. Isn't our build isn't working right. On join room, and it's not actually doing the thing. I'm guessing it's because I, I changed the stupid version number. This is just fine. Disconnect behind if Unity Editor. Um, good question. It is in the awake. But why is it still happening? Why is it auto connecting? Oh, it's not behind if Unity Editor. So this should be behind if Unity Editor. This is for auto connecting. That might be why. Some are very connected with the same name, maybe? Is resub considered a sub or is it only one per person? Um, a resub is considered a sub, but, uh, 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 how does it work? Oh, the sub count will only go up if that resub was like not a sub. Like if you unsubbed and then resubbed, then the number would go up, like the number would go down and back up. So yeah, it's one per person, one per person. I think it was because our name was empty, right? No! F. Desktop, data, output log, do we have any errors? Scene gameplay couldn't be loaded because not added to the build settings or asset bundle. And this is bullshit. Why are you lying? What? Damn it, Unity. Why are you such a poop sometimes? That's why it wasn't working. Buffer is reloading streams and ads every time I ask a question. 
Uh, yeah, a resub is not considered a new sub. So this is the total number of subscribers we have in this channel. Um, so this includes people who resubscribe. If people don't resubscribe, then this number will go down. And if new people subscribe, the number will go up. There we go. Stupid game. Who made this game anyway? Oh, floaty eye. Floaty eye. That's okay. Hello, Mr. Warwick. How's it going? My name's Quasi, and I'm here to murder you. Oh, shoot. Oh. Pow. Oh, snap. You die. Okay, so also, this is another problem. You die in one hit, which I don't want. I don't want it to be a one hit kill game. So Quasi TV's current health is zero. So my health is not getting set to max health. That's a huge problem. So the other player has just respawned. I don't know which one the other player is. Max health zero and max health zero. This is a floating one. So everyone has a health of zero. The health's not getting set properly. Uh, so player prefab. Your keyboard broke. What do you mean? Uh, do, 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 do. Current health. So let's see what's going on here. So health equals mathf.clamp, health minus amount, zero and max health. Max health is a public float, which is set to 100. And on awake, no, on respawn, Health equals max health. Respawn is only called, this is your photon view. Also a method called wait to respawn, which should only be called if it's your photon view, which is called on death. Oh, is that why? No, I don't think that's it. Why is our, our health equals stream I receive next? Send next health. So we're synchronizing health over the network. Chat is an actor. I think everyone's focused on this problem as strong as I am, Brian. And a lot of people are working on their jam games as well. So one of the uh, interesting trade offs of doing quasi jams is that everyone, a lot of people are jamming. And um, so I, I don't blame them for focusing on their games. So stay out of my chat, you jam jammers. Jam, you jam jammers. We, hmm. So let's put a debug point. Let's put a breakpoint on here. Oh, because if game controller. And so we could say is. We can say this. Let's try this. Uh, so game controller is this. Private game controller. And we have private. Game controller M game controller. This is a get. Um, if we try to get it, if M game controller equals no, then this is it. Do you do this crap? And then return M game controller. I'm doing this small little UI system. A UI system for your game? Are my eyes deceiving me or did you extend the jam length for one more week? Nope. What do you mean? It's a, it's a one week game jam in total. So it should have been one week to start. Uh, so that's six days, six hours, nine minutes and 27 seconds to go. It's a little bit over a week. It's like seven and a half days. That's mostly so people have enough time to wrap up at the end and upload their builds and stuff. You should really have your game done by Thursday. Uh, okay, so gameplay, quasi TV, current health is zero, which is a problem. So I put a breakpoint here, let's attach to Unity. So if I die, which I can't, damn it, start again. 
The ruling overlay says November 11th. Oops. Does it? Oops. I can fix it. I can fix it. I made it modular. Rising TV resources. Who's jamming? Ziangri, welcome to the jam. Our jam rules has the wrong date on it. It should say Friday, November 4th. So all that stuff overlay is just read from a text file. So that should refresh momentarily. Or something. I think it's like every 15 seconds. Yeah, maybe. I don't know if it refreshes. It doesn't always restart the overlay. You know what the buffers? It's not refreshing. Let's restart the overlay. What's up, Zipo? Good to see you. Sweet emote. Humble life. I didn't know we had that emote. Jamming? What? I thought I changed it. Right, that changing. That's really weird. Hmm. Isn't that where the? Well, all right. I'll look into that, fixing that later. My bad. It's supposed to be November fourth. Jamming is November fourth. Okay. Uh. So we didn't get a breakpoint yet on, or the game didn't break here. This is, this is, this is what? Let's put a breakpoint here then. That respawn gets called as soon as you spawn. I guess not. So maybe that's where we messed up. So wait to respawn. So when does respawn get called? It calls two places. On activate player. Hi, I'm player, blah, and it calls respawn. If not photon view is mine, return. Oh, if current state equals a live return. Official Pondy, welcome to the jam. Glad to see you jamming. Long time no see, Domino, how's it going? Good to see you. You're just in time for Quasi Jam 8, our one week long game jam that has the wrong date apparently in the overlay. Whoops. Alien Tanks is doing the jam. He is, yeah. Yeah, New Sally. Alien Tanks is working on a game for the jam, which is super, super excited. It's exciting. Exciting for me. I have an idea for a jam. Everybody choose a theme and a handicap, and the second jammer will get the handicap and the theme of the first for the limited entry date. Last one gives their list to the first. That's a cool idea. It'd be hard to coordinate, though. That brings us to, oh, we have 30 jammers. Freaking amazing, freaking amazing. So I realized the bug, guys. This respawn method isn't getting called because the player's already alive. I don't even know how they've been spawning back. How have they been spawning back? Oh, it's not getting called at first. It's getting called when they come back to life later, I guess. So I guess we could get rid of that. And I have to check if health is actually synchronizing across the network too. This is the most jammers we've had. I'm not sure. What matters, the most important thing is how many people actually submit games at the end, right? It's easy to type hashtag jamming. It's a lot harder to have the courage to submit whatever you made over the course of the week. But I strongly encourage you guys, whatever it is you make, no matter how bad you think it is, uh, to submit it. Because I, I guarantee you it's probably all, more awesome than you think. You know, 20 is mad far. 20 is like all the way to that wall. Like from here to that wall is 20. Which is maybe too far for a shotgun. So let's check my health. Health is at 100. Sweet. So let's build. Drops pan starting a foam party. What's up, foamy? How's it going? What the idea? It's a cool idea, Brian. It'd be really hard to manage, though. So I don't think I could ever pull it off. But it is a really cool idea. Unless there was some system to manage it automatically, I guess. Tropical Banana Man! I think you did. Try type hashtag a jamming. If you haven't joined already, it'll it won't it won't play the sound house, the audio. There it is! Tropical Banana Man, welcome to the jam! Alright, so let's try to shoot that guy. This guy. 
One damage, two damage, three damage, four damage. Dead. All right. Respawn. Where is he? Where is he? There he is. One damage, two damage, three damage, four damage. So our health is working again. Back to 100 health. So it takes four shots to kill someone. We might do three shots. If he's in, he's in front of the shark. What shark? Oh, the sharks are for sub trains. If we have a sub train, I'll move my face. Took a break from the Twitch live. It's good to have you back, Foamy. You've definitely been missed, dude. Uh, if you don't know what's going on, we're doing a game jam right now. I'm not sure if you're here for the other game jams. This is our eighth one, and it's a week long, and I'm working on a multiplayer shooter uh, about farmers that grow shotguns. When is it? And am I too late? You're not, Sub Sub. It only started yesterday. We're only one day into it, and it's a seven day long jam. So you have plenty of time to make a game still. Uh, so if you want to join, hashtag jamming, and check out the info on the webpage right here. If you guys want to see any information about the jam, it's all on the itch page. Uh, it's still not too late to join. It's honestly never too late to join. Even if you want to join on Thursday, make a game in three days. Like, it's, you know, that's, that's absolutely doable. You're not stupid, Sub Sub. You're awesome. What do you mean? What do you mean? I know a stupid guy. His name is Henry Nicholson. Wait, is this a real person's name? If someone does hashtag jam and a shark from Skyrock appears? No, that's if someone subscribes. Farmers that go shotguns. Yeah, for anyone who's interested, who doesn't actually know the design of the game we're working on, uh, this is the idea. Damn it, Photoshop, not you. This is the idea. The game's called Shotgun Farmers. It's a multiplayer shooter where you plant and grow your own weapons. So you have a shotgun. Wherever you, whenever you shoot your shotgun, it plants a new shotgun plant, and then that grows into a new shotgun. So when you run out of ammo, there's no reload in this game. There's no pickups. You have to actually water and harvest your own guns to use against the other players. So you can take other people's plants. You can destroy other people's plants, maybe. I haven't thought about that yet. Right now, we're still on day two. We're on the seventh or eighth hour of the jam. So we're still working on our base goals, which is a multiplayer photon arena, an FPS shooter with shotguns that actually have scatter attack, uh, movement, shooting, damage, death, respawn. We've got a lot of that kind of in there. Uh, and then scores and usernames. I'm using Photon. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, once we get this list in, then we'll start working, uh, hopefully by tomorrow, on planting, growing, harvesting, watering, etc. Uh, and then hopefully by Monday, uh, sound effects, visual effects, uh, and maybe by Tuesday, a lobby, and on and on until Thursday. At some point, we're going to have to dedicate a huge chunk of time to actually making art, environments, characters, guns. Uh, I do like this gun that we have, though. Okay. We were going to do... Oh, camera when you shoot. Yeah. Camera effect when you shoot. Or a camera shake when you... Camera movement when you shoot. Well, in time already? It is Diver. What's going on? Are you in or are you in? There's still time. So how do we want to shake the camera? Ten paper cuts or bite your tongue ten times? <laughs> what? So on attack. Want to do the camera shake animation? We could just start it here, but we'll do camera dot main dot do shake or yeah camera dot main dot transform dot do shake position and that's uh, let's say zero point five. We need a strength vector three uh, camera kickback. First base so bad, but I have too many parts going already. No worries, Sub Sub. No worries. What's up, Bioquake? Is Corporate with another person allowed on jam, or is it solo work only? Absolutely allowed. So the rules of the jam is there are no real rules. Do whatever you want. I work on alone, work on a team, use pre-made stuff, use code you were in before, use assets, um, work in any engine you want. The, the goal of the jam is to uh, just let you force yourself to make a game in a short period of time. How you do it is totally up to you. As long as you're not, you know, I mean, you can if you want to just take an old game and work on it, but don't submit that as like a game I made during the jam. Um, don't do this to me. 
You can submit things that have already been working on. Yeah, you can, uh, as long as it's not like, you know, as long as you make sure you say like, hey, I worked on this before and uh, now I continue to finish it for the jam. That's absolutely encouraged. But it don't like, you know, make it work on a game for a year and be like, yeah, I made this in a week because that would confuse everybody. But if you want to complete something you've been working on or, uh, or, or improve something you've been working on or, or ship something you've been working on, that'd be awesome. Yeah, I'm trying to make a game jam that is a lot less strict than most game jams are because game jams are supposed to be fun, I think? Probably? So we're trying to make this one as fun as we can. Uh, so our kickback is going to be uh, a little bit up and down and then mostly back, right? So let's say 1, 1, minus 5. We'll do a big values for now, see how this looks. Camera kickback, uh, we'll leave the vibrato alone. What's up with Echo? We are jamming, Seb's up, welcome to the jam, let's go. We are jamming right now, we're working on a, oh, okay, it's kind of extreme. We're working on a multiplayer shooter for our seven day long game jam, Quasi Jam 8. You can check out the info over here. The rules, yeah, the rules are more to uh, remove limitations. So let's make this minus 0.5. Make this 0.2, make this 0.2. All right, all right. That's a start, right? Kind of just go, or you even do like a little bit more of a kickback, I think. So the fact that the player model is coming through, the, like the head of the player is coming through, we'll fix that, of course. Uh, we have to hide the player's body. We don't want you to see your body when you're standing in first person mode. Your Unreal Engine 4 always freezes when I try to lead a material. That's weird. Oh, I should have new I'm not too familiar with uh, Unreal. So this is way too much, right? You can see it's going through the player's head. It does feel pretty good though. But it's pretty far back. What the actual am I going to make? I know, Seb. Can you make it 666? That's gonna to be too high of a value. What data type is a function? Um, I don't know. All right, this is looking pretty good. So next thing we do is hide our body. You can see we see our stupid body in the game. We don't wanna see that. What's up, Hollow White Man? Uh, make a game where you play as an old man who has Alzheimer's and is going blind. The game is epic and kind of like a tell, uh, tell -tale, tell -tale game. And you get to know characters by the end. The old man loses his mind and can't remember how to talk to the characters and who they are. Right in the game, that screen gets fuzzy because he's blind. And then at the end, he completely forgets. And the game ends when he's full blind. It's a black screen. That's pretty serious. That's pretty serious. Are you going to do it? Make it. Cross the Jam 8. You have one week. Can you make it? You'll find out. There's never a higher view for 666. Uh, okay, so we have our good camera knockback here. I like it. It feels good. We're going to hire our, hide our player's body now. So in player controller, we're going to have a serialized private. Uh, it's going to be an array of game objects. We'll call this player parts. This is everything we want to hide that belongs to the player. So again, on awake. Iterate over all of our player parts. And we'll say all these player parts. Try all these body parts. Set active is false. Let's call these body parts. Uh, the game is going to be take place on a farm. So it's going to be, mm, I guess, just cartoony themed. Uh, is it possible to put in a function as a property of a constructor? I think I got that right. Um, put a function as a property of a constructor. I don't... If you mean like call a function in here? I don't know. It's a good question. I don't think so. Yeah, I guess so. You can. On a farm? But why? So the game we're working on, if you missed the uh, explanation, is... Uh, shotgun farmers. I don't think I have it open. It's a game where you plant and grow your own weapons to kill each other. Uh, 
All right, this is good. Um, so we have to hide our bodies. Yeah, I mean to show our bodies. So activate player. Show the body. That sounds great. Thanks, Hollow, right? All right. So, oops, I never actually assigned the body objects. Also, notice we have some copy pasta going on. All right, we don't want all this copy pasta, so let's write our method. Um, void, uh, toggle, or enable components. Bool should enable. Goes true. That's going to do this. So here we're going to call enable components. And this is going to use this as its parameter. And so now on awake, we can just call enable components false to not show our body and stuff. That way, whenever we want to add stuff that we want to specifically have happen for players on network and local, we can just put in that method. Do you get seeds and plant them like a hardcore farming sim, but when the plants are done, you get a gun and kill each other? Kind of. I think I'm going to simplify it more. Why is my body? Oh, I didn't set it up yet. I'm going to simplify it more so that you don't actually have to plant seeds, but instead of wherever you shoot stuff, it plants a seed automatically. Um, all this takes a lot. We'll have to. We'll find out though if that works or not in the game. We we might pivot to actual planting. We have to get. We haven't gotten to the, the farming part of the prototype yet. We're still doing this just the multiplayer shooter part. Three things I'll always miss though. One. Okay, so our player parts. Not having to watch my step all the time. Uh, is the model for the body. Uh, forget about two. The root for the rig. We don't need that. I miss the songs. Folks from Salonia knew how to carry a tune. World War II D-Day and the players are on those towers. You need to stop the U.S. and don't let them reach you. But then there wouldn't be farmers and farmers are hilarious because there's got to be chickens in the game. All right, so you can see I kick back now. I look down. I still have a body. What the F? Oh, whoops. I meant this was the other way around. So if it's local, don't show the body. If it's online, show the body. What's up, Gordy? We're just working on the feel of actually shooting your gun, so you can actually tell that you shot in the game. And now you can. You have no body, walk up to the wall, your gun doesn't cull through it, or doesn't clip through it. You can shoot dudes, and actually you can feel like I'm actually doing a thing in the game. Kickback's a little bit too high. What we don't have yet is an actual visual impact that you hit something, uh, which will be next. USA Soldiers are chickens and you shoot seeds at them. Does it have a name? It does. It's called Shotgun Farmers. At least that's the that's the name we're going with right now. It doesn't have a permanent name yet. Alright, this is feeling good. This is feeling good. So now one more thing we need to actually make this game a little bit more playable than it was yesterday is something, a particle effect on the person you hit, right? So if I hit this dude. Something should have came off of him, right? So sexual when you say the word seeds. Is it though? What's up, Sprouse? So, particle, blood splatter. I wish I never actually bought the cartoon effects pack. That would be really good to use. Oh, I do have another effects pack from Skyhook. Uh, let's see. Asset store. Make him explode! I do have an explosion thing. Back with 12 glazed donuts, Sky, you're making me jealous. Wish I had that. Um, so I bought this FX pack back in the days, back in the Dizay. I think it's called FX Quest. Yeah, I have this. Let's see what it has. Bro, show me effects. Okay, that. This has got, got any blood splatter? Got explosion. God damn it. Got sword attack. Got explosions. Got a poison. These are the effects we use in the raid overlay, by the way. I didn't buy this for Sky. I bought this for the raid attack. The raid overlay. Use assets on Sky again. I use assets. This is actually for the... I just realized these are not pixel art uh, effects. But I use these for the raid overlay. But... Sky takes like... Are you booing me? Because I've seen... Uh, I've seen the characters for your game. 
Uh, pretty much defend your farm from wild animals with a shotgun. No, you defend your farm from other people, other players. <laughs> Think I don't know? Have you looked at Convention Tycoon? These particles are great. Let's just use these. There's no blood ones, though, but whatever. Shotgun Garden? That's not a bad name. Let's use whatever. This is good. I, already, I own it, so I don't have to pay for it. Let's just use it for now. As placeholder until we make our own particles. Uh, okay, so heads up. Hopefully it doesn't kill the stream. Download. Your buildings look strangely similar to mine? Yeah. And your characters look strangely similar to mine, even though they're from a different group. Oh, I'm out of water. I'm out of water. I need more water. He needs to download. I want to take a, I'll take a break once I can get you guys to play the damn game. Come on, assets! Where are you? Alright, screw you, asset store. We're just gonna get it from Skyhook. Oh, not Skyhook. Why do I keep saying Skyhook? It's in the overlay. It's in our uh, overlay project. It's called FX Quest. Twitch API Buddy? Yeah, that's what I use for uh, Stop Using Union Twitch RC. Uh, I use Twitch API Buddy for the overlay, for the raid battle. That's how I get everyone's avatars and stuff. Shot Garden is not a bad name either. Alright, let's import these FX. What's up, Robot Dolphin? Uh, Steve Jobs. My name is not Steve Jobs. My name is Carl Jobs. You were close, though. Importing small assets. You need to see them on screen? Let's, let's chill with the emotes. No emote spam, please, Odek. Can I hack? I cannot hack. I can dot hack. It's about the closest I can get to hacking. All right, so we got our effects here. Uh, let's go to our scenes. Uh, three demo, I guess. So fancy, all of these effects. That's stupid. That's not bad, I guess. Are you the seeds to plant? I don't, I don't know. That's a good question. I don't know. Musical notes. How pretty. We'll use those. Wait, is that? Oh, all the good ones are 2D. All right, we'll use this explosion one. Sorry to MOBA, sweet steps up. I'm allowed to use that for the jam. Yeah, sure. If you started today, why not? 3D smoke bomb, we'll use that. And then for shooting, day night. No, fucking... I guess we'll use 2D ones. so many more up and down key changes the type oh crap there is more there we go some explosions we can use this for our muzzle flash if we want these are great Oh, they do have some, like, splatter. Yeah, we could use this for getting hit, right? Oh, these are great. There's a little blood on the ground. That's for dead, I guess. Use this for when you fall in love with each other. Sweet. Rain. Everybody needs rain in the game. All right. So we want. I 
I think we'll use air explode two when you hit stuff. Let's write this down. Potatoes can fly. I already, I already knew that. Uh, three air explode zero two for hits. Oops. Where's air explode zero two? Yeah, I like that one. Maybe zero five for muzzle. Maybe. And then 3D ground explode for grenades. Ground explode zero one. And where's their critical hit? Ground attack, 3D spawn. Spawn effect. So 3D hit zero 05, I think. Zero 05 for damage. When we get them new emotes, though, uh, I don't think they're gonna approve them over the weekend, so it might take till the weekdays. I don't know if Twitch is open during the weekend. Like the people who do the emotes, I don't know if they're open during the weekend. There's a dead one too, right? There's a blood one. This one. 3D dead zero one. 3D dead zero one. Okay, let's do it. Uh, they're, you know, Twitch is definitely open, right? Because they moderate the servers and make everything okay. I don't know if the people who approve the emotes are there on the weekend. No idea. Oh, it's time to get jamming in here. Right, let's play this game. Let's make this game. I mean, gameplay. All right. So when you hit someone, we're going to play this effect. That effect should probably be on the gun, right? Because it should be different for all the guns or not. Probably on the player. Shotgun Gardens, Artillery Ar Agriculture. That's a good name for like a DLC expansion pack too. What pack is that? This is FX Quest. FX Quest. Um, so we're going to use it, obviously, for our placeholder uh, game jam art. We'll see if we replace it before the game jam, but if we continue this game, we'll probably end up replacing all of them. They're making a game? What do you mean? Uh, okay. So we'll start with... We'll make a script called Player Effects. Right? So this will have a set of transforms and they will be, um, ah, crap. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, we'll call this uh, damage. It should be on the weapon. Should it? I think it should be on the weapon. So, uh, uh, Mm. All right. Damage effect, we'll just do it in one place. It's a jam, we gotta move faster and then we're moving. Muzzle effects. Um, spawn effects. Dead effects. And I think that's it. Don't do it, Odek! Don't do it! Don't do it! Okay, uh, and then we'll have some methods here. Public void on hit. And this needs to, I guess face the normal of where you got hit. So it'll be vector three hit point. I guess it will just face away from you on the point you got hit, right? Are you shooting bullets or vegetable with a carrot can? You're shooting bullets. You're shooting bullets. As far as I know. Uh, so we're gonna say if uh, damage effects, then so how do we do photon spawn effects on server? I guess it's to do an RPC to spawn it for everyone.
We run to Fortnite Network Accentuate. We just tell everyone that it's happening. Or do we just call instantiate object? So let's instantiate scene object. Uh, welcome to a new forum. I think we want to just call instantiate, right? You know, just instantiate for everyone in the same place. You and Visual Pony working on the game? Sweet! That's awesome to hear, dude. Are you guys jamming? Make sure you type hashtag jamming in chat to let everybody know. Uh, so we're going to say photon network.instantiate, which takes a prefab name. Ooh. Damage effects that name takes a position which is hit point it takes a rotation which right now we'll just do identity because we don't we haven't written the code to actually rotate it yet takes a group which i don't really know what that means i'm assuming this will spawn it for everyone on the network let's find out so our damage effect is 3d hit zero five you are going to the resources folder, my friend. So now, boop. What? Oh, I never call this. <laughs> Silly. Never actually called this method. Uh, player controller needs a uh, private player effects yeah you know what this is all only gonna happen on the gun this is well this one hmm. now it's kind of backwards because it happens on you and then it happens on the gun it should happen yeah need it on the gun Let's just say, let's do it this way. Let's do it really quick. So hit player is this, other player take damage. Uh, we could do, oh. We could make this public. So we can say uh, public player effects. Effects. And on awake, effects equals get component player effects. And so when we hit a player, we can say uh, either or, we can say other player dot effects dot hit on hit. And we pass in this hit point. Which we're not gonna do it here, we're gonna do it. Raycast hit. We got a hit. So we need to pass our hit into here. Yeah, that's cool on the capsule deck. 10 days? Uh, it's actually six days. That date is wrong, I'm sorry. I meant to fix that. Uh, on hit, we're gonna say hit dot point. Why are you going so slow now? Bing. Fail to initiate a prefab. Prefab must have a photon view component. Really? Huh. All right. Well, I don't want to do that. That way, we, then we want to just do an RPC. So let's say, Vandy, thanks for the cheers. When you discover ref. Yeah, ref is great. Welcome back, Drinkler. Ref is super helpful and stuff once you learn it. Uh, Odek, uh, we don't ask people to say mean things about someone else in chat, so let's chill. What's this quad gem eight about and stuff? What's up, Scrappa? 
Uh, so this is a game jam we're hosting here on Twitch. It's an eight day, sorry, six day long game jam, Quasi Jam 8. Uh, the theme is no themes. You can make whatever you want. There's currently 32 other people jamming along with me. I'm working on a multiplayer shooter in Unity. People are working in all kinds of engines, all kinds of frameworks, all kinds of languages. Do you know the game Moonbase? I don't, Gordy. Don't believe I've played that. So let's do an RPC, which I'm still not super familiar with. So let's go take a look at how those work again. So you call an RPC by putting pun RPC before the method. So let's say pun RPC, this. And then you have another method that actually calls that RPC if this is my photon view. So go to our weapon class. So we're going to call this on hit RPC. So we're going to have a public void on hit vector three hit point. Why does that just do not like player effect script name? Oh, because the capital X, the it's not Visual Studio. It's uh, it's ReSharper. Uh, the it ca the it's not a good uh, naming convention because it wants camel case, so it doesn't want two upper cases like that. Where the hell did this RPC from? Shit. If photon view. Yeah, this should have a photon view. No, the, I guess the effect trip doesn't have a photon view. So we could just move all of this right now to the player controller. And we're not going to do muzzle, we're just going to do damage, spawn and dead. So public void on hits is going to actually call this RPC. So call it like that, okay. Oh, I already have that here. So we're going to call on hit RPC and we're going to pass in the variable hit point. I think we can pass vector threes. Which means weapon is going to call other player dot on hit. We even just call our player, honestly. I don't know which what makes more sense in networking. Who should spawn the effect that they've gotten hit? You, the person who shot, or the person who got hit? I don't know if it really matters. We want to tell everyone to spawn a hit thing there. Uh, I really like it, find it on itch.io. I don't know if I can post links. Um, sure, Let's, we'll talk about it after stream, or if you want to tweet it out to me or something. I thought right now we're just jamming on the game, so we don't really just look at like different games unless it's relevant to the game we're working on. Okay, still no effect there. Oh, I didn't assign the effect. So the damage effects. Hmm. Premium must have a photon view component. Oh, am I still doing instantiate? Oops. We're just gonna call, we're now we'll just call instantiate. Actually, we have an object pool now, don't we? So damage effects dot spawn at hit point. Where is this dummy? Boom, yes! Explosions when you hit someone. Let's try that out with multiplayer. Let's update our version this time because I keep changing the version, but this is, uh, so our version is 0.0.0.0.1.2. Build. Play. Yep, absolutely, Scrapper. You can start filling out whatever you want before uploading the game. I like it, Sub Sub. I like that. That's what we're gonna change our build our build name to. Hold on. All right. Hello, Kapow, Kaboom, Kabish, 
Kablamo, you died. Yeah, it's like a game or something. Guys, it's like we made a game. It's like we made a game. Scrap it, you're in. Type hashtag Jammin to join. Look at this. Let me switch over to the, this one. Hello, Quasi TV. How about a shot in your face? Oh, you, did you not like that? You don't like the shit blowing up in your face? How about in your right hand? There's no collider there, so I guess that will work, actually. Do that body collider? I guess there's one big caps collider. Yeah. How about in your crotch? Oh, you dead. You dead, Quasi TV. You so dead. We don't talk about the Griffin incident, Ponty. We don't talk about it. Such a thing, guys. It's such a thing. It's becoming a thing. So will they say dot uh, kappa two? Is it capital kappa or lowercase kappa? Capital K. Uh, so now we want to add ammo before to make the game playable. It's gonna take a little while. So what I will do is build this guy out, which we just did. Uh, I'm gonna put it up on Windows. If anyone is watching and wants to play builds of the game and you're on a Mac, let me know in chat. Uh, hashtag Mac if you're on a Mac. And I will uh, try to do some Mac builds in the future. Right now, because we have limited upload speed, we'll just do a Windows. All right, let's copy. And pasta into Google Drive. Hashtag never buy a Mac, damn. Hashtag Linux, I'm sorry, steps up. Oh, we could build to Linux too. Where are we putting this? Quasi Jam. So I think the link should be the same. Uh, download? No, wait, I'm not putting it right now. All right, we're syncing up. Kappa OS, so I'm going to develop on that. Windows forever, never buy a Mac. I have Windows OS X and Ubuntu running here. What, Manny? That's insane. All right, uploading the builds. Should take a little bit. In the meantime, I am going to wait. Is it almost done? I think I'm almost done. All right, I'm gonna go grab a glass of water. Oh, my face is not over there. My face is over here. Go over here. Back in a second.
Oh, you guys couldn't even hear me, could you? Simbi, thank you for the host. Uh, Odek, sorry about the confusion with the meme, but we normally don't want to say things that sound mean in chat anyway, you know? Um, I'm really familiar with memes anyway, but uh, it sounds like something mean. So sorry you got timed out. But whoopsie daisies, mic was muted. Still uploading, goddamn. Goddamn, Google Drive. Dear, dear work. Let's double our upload speed, go! Making progress, I figured out hopefully for that good way to track the current position in the song. Sweet, Alien. Share with us some gifts. Oh, Share us some gifts. Yeah. Thanks for the host, dude. Still uploading. All right, we'll just keep start working on some stuff that won't affect the network. And what that is, is ammo. So we've got max ammo and current ammo. We're not doing anything with it. Racial slurs are not a good meme. Oh, is that what the meme is about? Because then, yeah, totally. How's game calling? It's going to be good. Uh, we're trying to upload a build right now to... Uh... Oh, there it is. So let's see if this works. Download. It should be the latest build. All right. You guys can download the zip and jump into Shotgun Farmers with me. So I'll wait here silently. So when you jerk show up. Oh, there's a dude up there. Whoops. Don't shoot that guy. Trust me, don't shoot that guy. He's just the shooting dummy. We should just change him to look like an actual shooting dummy. Twitch doesn't know who your friends are? Wait, it tells you when your friends watch the same show as you? I didn't know that. Something again, of course. Someone download the game and play with me so we can make sure it works. Of course, Erbion. I'm just gonna jump around this place and hang around this place. And hopefully someone can join. I don't know if you guys can't join if there's any problems with joining as well. Next, we're going to work on a way to actually see who's in the game after we work on some ammo and stuff like that. I'm going to hide over here in case someone shows up. Hope we're on a different version of the game because that would suck. If you guys can't see me in the game, let me know. Need your ball to move around on a spear. I'm not sure I understand. I should check to make sure these are the same file that I just sent you guys. Uh, space pop, absolutely. You're in a game right now? Uh oh, it's not with me. Hold on. Use the same links? Yeah, it's the same link it looks like. I'm gonna try to rejoin maybe. I didn't get in the game. Yeah, it's never too late, Space Bob. You can always, 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 always join the jam. So everyone playing, do you have a, everyone has a shotgun? If you don't have a shotgun, you're in the, the build's messed up. It's not good. I don't see nobody. There's four of us? What? Why can't I play with you guys? It's not fair. Join random room failed. Huh. You guys can play together. Interesting. Here's another thing we'll do. Uh, on GUI. Why are we doing the version number now? Let's go to this. 
and our version number is here. Let's so make this static. You need to play the build descend us. I am. I thought I was, but I guess I'm not. I mean, I built it from Unity. Interesting. The same game as Pyro. Let's try this one bigger. Also, what's up, Pyro Man? Hey! Whoa! Calm down! I'm just a friend. I'm just a friend. Oh! Everyone's dead. So the explosions aren't synchronizing. Name show multiple times. Yeah, it's a bug we haven't worked on yet. So I can see the effects of who I shoot. I could see the effects of other people shooting, but it's like super delay. There's a super delay on it. Damn it, it's a hard game. So I, I wonder why I couldn't connect from the editor. That's super interesting. Damn it, I'm shooting. There needs to be way more reload time because of the shotguns. We're kind of spamming shotguns now. So at least, you know, it's kind of there. I don't know where those explosions are coming from. So interesting, a Cindy was over there, but I was seeing explosions like way off. So I don't know how we're gonna handle that. Seb Sub, you're too good! Stay away from me! Oh, It's pretty good for less than one day, thanks, Will. Yeah, we're about five hours in now, maybe six hours in. This is what we got so far. Jumping and shooting. We're just jumping and shooting at each other online. Jumping and shooting at a Simbi. With my little silly shotgun. That doesn't shoot anything out. Damn it, I haven't killed anyone, I don't think. 2 -oh, please, please nerf. This is the other, I gotta fix this. The scaling of the damage HUD doesn't scale with the screen size. Easy fix. I have to preserve aspect, which it shouldn't. Spawn points are obviously trash. So my hits are good, but when I see other people hit each other, I don't actually see the, the splatter. So why can't I join this from the editor? Is gonna change the version number? Is it after I built the game? Is that why? Is that why? What was this when I built the game? Was it one? Nerf sub sub? I will. If sub sub. Wasn't this? Was it two? Can't remember when we changed it to Kappa. I think it was after we built, wasn't it? That was very responsible of me. No? Hmm. I don't know. No idea. What we built it as. This is your game concept. Oh, there we go. Okay. See, so yeah, I built it with the wrong version number. Uh, that's interesting. Uh, Sebastian, scrap a Sebastian Lage actually has a video about running on 3D spaces. Sebastian Lage. So I might be able to help you. Uh, let's see if we can find it. Here's a video about running on spherical surfaces, I mean. I 
don't know if it's in 3D. Yeah, it looks like it is. Sebastian has in you, of course, steps up because you're so OP. Oh, who is there? Who's here? Stop it! Get away from me! I just want to kill someone! Please! Damn it. Actually, I didn't even tell you if you kill someone, you don't even know. You grab and hold my player to the ball and go through the maze. Ah, I don't know. It's interesting. Hey, I finally killed someone, probably. Oh, hello, Ponty. We spawned in the same death place. See you later, dude. All right. It's a thing. It's starting to be a thing. Uh, so now... Sorry, that was a loud clap. I, I apologize. Let's uh, do some more things, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys down to do some more things? Make some more games? Um, ammo. Oh, 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 oh. Let's write a, a list of to-dos. Let's write some to do's. Uh, what do we want to solve today? It's 650. Still streaming. We're going to do ammo and no ammo. Shotgun has reach. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's say shotgun range, uh, sp splash damage or whatever. How shotguns actually shoot. Uh, shells falling out, maybe? Um, track score. Uh, tell player when or announce kills globally so it's like blah 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 you know sub sub killed a simbi you want to see them hit markers what does a hit marker you mean like the, the thing what's a hit marker the decals on the wall or do you mean the cursor the crosshair being accurate what's a hit marker Kill feed? What's kill feed? Uh, so ammo. Alright, so when you hit, when you shoot, we're gonna say current ammo uh, equals mathf.clamp between current ammo minus minus zero and max ammo. So you lose ammo. If you're out of ammo, you can't shoot anymore. Um, we're gonna increase the delay on uh, firing because I think it's super, super fast. Lasers? It's a long time I've written code. It's hard sometimes to wrap my head around all the code I've written, and there's not much that right now. I know, Alien, but you'll get it. You're just warming up. You're just warming up. Indication on the crosshair that tells you that you hit an enemy. Ooh. Do we have a good example of that? Is it like it just turns red or something, or it shakes, or what? Showing who killed who is kill feed. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We won't have a full kill feed yet, because we'll have to actually start tracking that and have a UI for it. But we'll just have it, the game announce, like... Blah, blah, blah. Killed blah, blah, blah to everyone. So we're going to put this. Say five more seconds. How long is that? If it doesn't be fire, then you have to go again, which like we don't actually have. Isn't that how shotguns work? You have to like ch -ch every time. I don't know why I feel like this game has to be all shotguns. It doesn't, but shotgun farmers just sounds cool. 420 MLG blaze it? I don't know what that means. You guys know I don't know things. Okay. Uh, so on death. So we have on death, uh, doo -doo -doo. Where's on death is here, just called here. So we're gonna call uh, int killer ID. Uh, we're, oh, we're gonna fix that HUD damage real quick. Pretty easy, we just gotta change this damage HUD to not be preserve aspect. It actually scales with the resolution of your screen. Thanks, Zimbi. Wait, 
What, is it? what did I just miss? It went all blurry and fuzzy like. Why is that happening? Is that just me? Not now. You can see my video is freaking out, right? Is like the crosshair animates when you hit someone? Is that what it is? Dude, this video is freaking out for me for some reason. Yeah, right? I don't know what's going on with my computer. It's like, nope, nope, you're not, nope, you're not, nope, nope. Yeah, I know. It's not. It's not the video. It's my. I don't know what's going on with my computer. Thing is just like, yeah, I can't do all these things you want me to do right now. But I'll watch it. Let me save that link. Hold on. Watch it after stream, maybe. Maybe I'm streaming too much video. I'm using too much video card memory. Uh, Image link. What to Zerbion? So what happens? The crosshair turns into this, telling you you killed someone? Is that what it means? Oh, it's an X that appears around the crosshair for a brief moment. And it just appears and goes away? Does it move and stuff? And is there a plus 100 showing your score that you just killed someone? Is that what that is? On death, we're gonna make an RPC call, which I already forgot how to do. So we're gonna put this uh, death alert and killer ID. Cool, so that's the X that appears over your crosshair when you killed someone. Okay, so it just appears and goes away. Confirms your bullet will say it. Cool. Yeah, it's a great idea. I like it. I like it. This is my game at left screen when I shoot the other player. Dude, your game looks great! Holy crap! I'm jealous. You got bloods already falling out. Your lighting is so much better than mine. On every hit, yeah, yeah, I got your puffs. You're right. On a, whenever you, whenever your bullet hits something, then it shows. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, cross the that makes games but hasn't played any games. I played Overwatch, but I, you know, I don't play enough to remember all the little nuances, which is why I have you guys here for. Is it your reload is so good? How did you do all that? How do you have all that already? It's so good. Uh, death alert. Oh wait, did you have the... I wasn't even paying attention. Did you have the thing? The X? Was it there? Uh, so death alert is alert manager MNC, alert manager dot alert uh, we're going to put an empty string right now. Color is white. Top. 1.4. 0 0.7. You were here for five days. Gotcha, right? Yeah, you worked on it for a little while earlier. Forgot, forgot, forgot. Are you using uh, UFPS at all? Or did you write all the FPS stuff yourself? Because I like the little gun sway and stuff like that. Uh, so, photon, get, other player name. A room list even how do you get other people's names or is it just synced Rudolph, thanks for the host. Let's try it like this. Build. 
game. I'm gonna name myself Tester One. I think it's self made. Wow, that's great, dude. Uh, so, where is this jerk? There he is. So, I need to see do I know his name? So, player prefab. Photon view is tester. Owner is one. I'm two. Okay. So we're going to say on hit, or sorry, on death, we're going to pass in some ID. So I'm going to have this guy kill me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, what the hell? Nine, ten. Oh, the game was paused. <laughs> That's why. Uh, so on death is called, and the idea of the killer was one. Okay. So we gotta find all the play. Photon views are synced. That should work. How can simple and mobile be in the same sentence? That's a good question. Uh, so we do have like an on player joined, right? On player joined. On photon player connected. And we have a photon player player. On photon player connected. So this is called when photon player got connected. We need then load a bigger scene. No, we don't do that. Just do it. So what you will do is keep a uh, public list so we're gonna keep a list of photon players so I don't know what a photon player is um, all players How long have you been developing games for, and what did you do? What did you t study, if I may ask? Of course, Birkin, you can absolutely ask. Uh, I've been developing games seriously since uh, fall of 2013. Uh, November 2013 is when I decided to seriously take, start taking game dev seriously, and I learned Unity and learned C Sharp and started researching game design and reading about game design, all that kind of stuff. Um, I started my first real game in April of 2014, and I released that game this year. It took me two years. I released it in May of this year. Um, that was my first commercial release game. So I've been working on games for, I guess, two and a half years now, almost three years. Um, right, math? Yeah, almost three years. Uh, and I went to college uh, five, 10 years ago. Well, I graduated five years ago. I went to college for um, computer science. I studied computer science in college. Uh, I've been drawing all my life so I can draw and, and make cartoons and stuff. So I figured I could learn programming and then combine those two skills to make games. Uh, all players, so if is master client, blah. So we're gonna say if not all players that contains other, then all players that add other, and then we'll have a list of all the players. I think. Let's see. We got an error? No. Alright, so where's our list? Oh, lists are not. I thought lists were public. A photon player is not serializable. Bastards. What does a photon player have? We got other dot user ID. Available to Ruben Guy Creative Promotions. These are probably photon find friends and blocking slots. That's not what we want. How do we find out what they're freaking. I don't have to just print the ID. How about that? Debug dot log player joined with ID. I feel I feel like this is gonna be some other kind of ID, not the in-game ID. 
Wondering because I'm seeing software engineering now and I want to develop games with the help of an artist. Yeah, do it. Do it. And remember, you don't need a college degree to do any of this stuff. You load the room for one. Uh, hi, I'm player one. That loads, but this doesn't happen. This happens. Activate player. Hi, I'm player one. But I do have them like this. Maybe I'm doing it the wrong direction. I, I'm already getting the photon view when we instantiate them. I think. Let's see. Let's make a build. Star Small, absolutely, Xeneron. Yeah, totally agree. My first game was a 2D platformer, which is like one of the more easier genres to start with working in. So I see myself, I don't see the other. Okay, the other player does not send an alert to me. But I do have them. How, okay, let's see. Photon, list of other players. Got players in a room. You can use Photon Network, that player list. Thanks, Birkin. I appreciate it. Is that the one that's on the Halloween sale now? It is, yeah. Skyhook is on sale for $2.50 for the Halloween sale. So all that, Photon had it built in. All we have to do is Google it. Sometimes all you got to do is Google it, guys. I forget that sometimes, too. So, we need to find a list. We need to renew we this list. We want to put our playlist, list of all player in the room. Or you can use player, player name, player, other players, your player, and list of other players. Interesting. So, we're going to do a little bit of hacky first. Uh, I use the for each photon player in photon number playlist, and then it's just on Google to dry it out. Awesome. Thanks, Epso. Yeah, I wish I knew that. I was going about the completely wrong way. So we have our killer ID and we have our own ID so we can say, oh snap, you died, uh, which we're not gonna do. Instead, we're gonna send uh, an RPC call. To everyone, and we're gonna call this uh, death alert. And we're going to pass in our ID, photonview.id. I think I have a, a variable for photon ID and killer ID. Close victim ID. Try to avoid that one and make X game, but better. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good point, isn't it? Just make a game without the art, make boxes, and just worry about getting it to work. Absolutely. I mean, even this game, as you guys saw, was robots and now plates with a shotgun for a long time. We're not really worried about the fact that there's no crops and farms and barns. I'm not trying to get any artists to start working on it or hiring any artists to do it or whatever. Um, we don't even know if the game's fun yet. This game could be terrible. This game could be absolutely terrible. We haven't even prototyped the mechanics yet, the main mechanics of actually having to plant and grow stuff. Uh, so let's say... Uh, string killer name, string victim name, which I guess we could just pass in here as string victim name. We could just pass them as strings all together. So we're only doing it on one person's computer, the whole for each thing. Which means this RPC is wrong. Where you get the shotgun model from? It was a free asset on Unity Asset Store. 
Uh, it's just, you know, placeholder assets as a jam game. Uh, so we need to get the killer's name. So we're going to say for each var in um, photon. Wait, what was it? Forgot already. Photon network got playlist. Photon network got others, other players. Reach var photon player and other players. If photon uh, player, which is a photon player, dot ID, this player's actor ID, property int photon player ID, this player's actor ID. What the hell is actor ID and what is photon ID? Is this actor ID? Photon actor ID. Internally used to create players from event join. Confused about photon player versus photon view. So, photon player dot ID equals equals killer ID, then killer name equals photon player dot name. Set the photon player name to the name, nickname of this player. We're going to say victim name equals photon view dot name. No, photon view dot username. Or just do player name. Photon view dot owner dot name. Which we don't really need a victim name anymore. We can just pass in player name like that. <clears throat> so what that should do is say, yo, you're you were killed by this person. And send that message out to everyone. So we're going to say um, killer name killed victim name. Now I don't have anything for environmental effects or whatever yet, but we'll do that later. I'll have to you know, do kill types, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Yeah, folks, Nuvo, I totally agree. Starting with something like Pong or Tetris or other easy things is a great way to start. because it's a different version. Let's try building. Let's make sure we're calling everything right. Uh, are we passing in the IDs and stuff? On death, if photon view, photon view, I received death alert, all player name killer. Let's start with just uh, calling death alert. Player name and killer name, just to make sure I'm still not sure if our for each even works up here. So let's do that first. Again, we have to keep building and testing. AI is your favorite part of programming? That's serious, dude. AI is so scary for me. Do it when I have to, but don't enjoy it. All right, quasi to be quasi to be, that's about right. Um, let's change our name. Okay, I think that works. So let's then do the RPC call. Sure, I made a shotgun in Blender. Want to see? Absolutely, steps up.
shader programming. Only demons and devils like shader programming. I should have known, Zanarin. I should have known. All right. One, two, three, four. Cool. Quasi V kill other guy. So we've got alerts across servers when you kill people. We've also got ammo now, I think. Whoa! Gordy! Ha! <laughs> You're in the wrong version! No! How'd you get in here? That's hilarious. Dude, the shotgun is cool. Wait, is that a shotgun? Is that, where's the, isn't that a different kind of, isn't that like a machine gun? That's a really cool model though. I don't know why it's all gray or dark. Really, really cool. How's Gordy in here? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Might've crashed because it's the wrong version. I was like, dude, I'm moving two player that we screwed up the game. We broke everything. No, it was just Gordy. Uh, I'm not good at Blender. I use Maya. Autodesk Maya. You left the game, Gordy? Okay, so it didn't break at least. They cannot leave in this world? So right, the old version peoples. Yeah, we need to make change the version number. So I'm gonna put the version number in the overlay. That's what I was trying to do. Let's make a 0 0.3. Uh, so game controller uh, on GUI. We're gonna put another layout label, which is gonna be our launcher uh, dot version, right? Game version. Lightwave 3D, sweet. Mine's pretty cool, yeah. I agree, Wider. I'm just using it because I'm used to it. All right, so this is the version number there on the top left now. So we can all make sure we're on the right version and stuff. Uh, how do you do, is there an easy way to do an FPS counter in Unity? kind of complicated uh, actually it's not that bad let's do a download this save as no fps display let's make a new script fps display see them in the cubby hole under the stairs what All right, that FPS is kind of on your face. Uh, it's a nice little thing, you know. Maybe we'll move these two in here. Rect equals width height. Name launcher doesn't exist. Oh. Why don't they have this sweet style like the other thing? Gooey. Like that? Wrecked text style? Oh. Wrecked text. Oh, so we could just do um, text plus equals new line. God damn it. Plus this, and this, say V plus, oh, 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 oh. new line plus V, 
plus the version. The big obnoxious debug text in the game now. Oh, he's wanted a big obnoxious debug test in the game. Yay! Big obnoxious debug text. Do I have ammo right now? Oh, look, if you shoot multiple times? No, that's fine. Okay, so my ammo is nothing happening. Do we not do that? Uh, weapon. Current ammo equals math at that clamp. Current ammo minus minus. Current ammo minus one. Zero and max ammo. Current ammo is equal to zero. Just say less than equal to zero. On, out of ammo, and return. Let's take a look at our player's ammo. See why it's not changing. So ammo we don't have to actually synchronize because that's just a local thing. Um, we'll have to make sure players don't hack it and change their ammo, I guess. Or maybe we'll synchronize it if that's, that's going to be the actual problem. Uh, I wonder how games deal with it. They probably do sync everything on the server. So current ammo is 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Alright, now I can't shoot anymore. Uh, what, would, what does your gun do when you can't shoot? I wonder. Uh, we can open with RPG Rudolph. Damn, that's gonna be serious. It's a big undertaking. Hmm. I guess what we could do is uh, for this prototype or for this demo is say uh, make a coroutine, uh, enumerator, uh, reload. Which waits five seconds and then current ammo equals max ammo. The gun should make a sound. Yeah, absolutely. A click noise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think let's see if we could grab one. Awake, 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 update uh, on, out of ammo. Hmm. So if current ammo equals zero, then reload. It's automatic reload. Um, could even just do this. Game object set active. False for now. And set active. I think the coroutine will still run. Let's find out. Just hide the gun when you're out. Because so the actual game is going to be... You never actually run out of ammo in the real game. Or I guess you do. But I don't know if the actual game is just going to automatically throw away your gun when it's done. Um, no worries. What, what? You're doing awesome. So I don't know if in the real game, when your shotgun is empty, you just throw it away. Or if you can hold on to it for a melee weapon. So now my gun is gone. I can't shoot. And it should come back to me in five seconds. Balls deep. Sounds awesome, Scrappa. Hello? No? So coroutines do not continue. So what we want to do instead is to do a hack. Um, let's do public game object gun model. That's what we'll hide. Seems like a porn movie. Uh, shotgun. Need the model. Oh, it's modeled itself. I just didn't realize that. Crap. So you could instead change the model to a mesh renderer. Did 
We're just gonna hide and show our guns. We don't have ammo. Now it's not gonna happen across the served network, and that's nothing we're really worried about just yet. Uh, okay. What was the other thing I was just looking at? One thing about the gun. Uh, one, two, three, four. Missing reference. Oh, uh, the other thing I was. So we have to. We keep getting up with this dummy player standing in midair. So this is gonna be hide on play. We're gonna add a script here called hide on play. Basically, we're gonna put all the stuff in here we want to not show up in the actual game, but we're gonna use to change prefabs. So we're gonna say uh, hide on play. Basically, on start, it just disables itself. This is a, a way that I do it so I can just change prefabs easily in this scene and not worry about them showing up in the game. Because you can see when we're playing the game, there's that dude floating in midair because I have his prefab sitting here. So now when we start the game, he'll automatically get hidden along with everything else inside this child, inside this uh, object. Halloween Easter egg. That's not a bad idea, Pig Dev. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh crap. Oh, gun model weapon doesn't exist anymore. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? It's itself. Gun model that enable. I need my to reload. Oh, you know what? I'm not doing start coroutine. Reload. What do they mean this doesn't exist anymore? Uh, the other thing is it should be on zero. If current ammo equals equals zero, then start the coroutine of reload. One, two, three, four, five, six. You mother trucker. Really doesn't exist. Hmm. Yeah, right, Zenron? Psychonic so Kids, okay, here. I have a question about games. Absolutely, Jordan Kid. Yeah. It's not all about me, it's about you guys. does not exist though. I'm just gonna say gun model equals get component mesh render. Also let's just start gibberish at random times. <laughs> Side conversation is the backbone of the stream. It also gives me something interesting to talk about. Welcome back Zerbion! One, two, three, four, five, six! God damn it! One, two, three, four, five. Buy two, get one free sale on all games. What? All games. Including like Titanfall 2 and Pokemon Dragon Ball Z Xenoverse. That's insane. Whoa! One, two, three, four, five, six. So what happens in a game with a shotgun When you shoot, like, what does it look like? If you shoot, like, in thin air... I got, oh, the muzzle flash. That's what it is. That's what we're missing. 3D multilayer spherical maze. Solve the sink. It's your balls deeper. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Especially Pokemon Dragon Balls universe. Damn it, Jordan Kid. In this chat or the streamer himself may be able to help me out with my computer. Uh, I probably can't be able to do a computer, Quattro Z, unfortunately. But maybe someone in chat's able to.
Pokemon Dragon Ball Z's universe is my most anticipated game. Damn it, alien! Uh, so public, transform, uh, muzzle, flash, effects. So when we shoot, ah, it's gotta be on the damn server. It's gonna be on the damn server. Everything's on the damn server. Where's our effects? Where do we even do the effects? Oh, here. I don't know how to call RPCs like this. Super Saiyan Pikachu. You can't make a. Uh, you can't use copyright characters as emoticons, unfortunately. So public void uh, show effects. Take some transform effects prefab. Let's call on effects. Oh wait, we could just do instantiate this time, right? No. Can't we just do instantiate for effects? I don't know the best practices. So if we do on an attack, can we just say um, photon network dot instantiate muzzle flash dot name uh, transform dot position. We gotta deal with the gun tip later. Identity zero. What's your main language for getting into game dev? Also, how long did it take you to learn game programming? Um, still learning, always learning. Um, took me six months to feel like I was knew what I was kind of kind of doing. It took me about a year or two years to feel confident about what I was doing. Um, my language before programming, main language. Um, question. I didn't really have a main language. I didn't really do heavy programming before I did game dev. I just did what I did in college, which was like Java or Python or whatever, C++, whatever they needed us to do. But I didn't really do a lot of programming. After college, I just focused on art until I got into, got back into game dev. Yellow Mouse Super Saiyan. So this might work. So our muzzle flash effect was... Uh, zero 05. Uh, 3D air explodes zero 05. That's going to be our muzzle flash. And we're going to need an empty game object here. We're going to call this uh, weapon. Weapon tip or something. Oh, I'm sorry, Quatra, that really sucks. I wonder where it could be. You see, I already tried re re uh, formatting your computer. Hearing the song, have you seen the real voice dude on YouTube? No, I haven't. Public transform tip locator. So we're actually gonna spawn the muzzle flash effects at our tip locator. Which is harder to learn, art, music, graphics, programming, or design? Um, I think design is the hardest to learn because I think 
Design is, uh, well, okay. Uh, disclaimer. Design is hard to learn, I think, because a lot of people think they're good at game design when they're not as good as they think they are. I think it's really easy to think you're good at it when you're not good at it. I'm not saying I'm good at it, right? Like, I can be really conscious of the fact that I'm not good at it. I'm always aware and trying to prove on it. But I think a lot of times game designers think they're a lot better than they are because it's, like, so easy to feel like you made something really good. Um, programming, I think, is technically easier to learn than art because it depends on your mindset. If you're very logical, programming is really easy. If you're not very logical, programming is really hard. Similarly, if you're very logical, art is really difficult because you're trying to think of the procedure and the methods rather than the creativity part. Whereas if you're not very logical, it's a little bit easier. So they're all really fucking hard. I don't think any of them is easier. Uh, but I think deep down design is the hardest just because it's there's no tools or path, there's no tool set or path for it, right? Like if you want to learn programming, someone might be able to teach you how to program, but I don't think anyone can really teach you how to game design. They can give you tips and good routes and advice and things not to do like you can do in any other skill, but I think it's really hard to like teach it. I don't know if it's possible to teach it yet because you learn so much of it doing it. People always think designers have good ideas. Yeah, Pig Dev, I totally agree. Yeah, and design also requires you to know the most knowledge because you need to understand not just game dev stuff, but like regular life stuff. Fail to attention prefab. Always use Y when you do stuff. I like that. Oh, now that's a muzzle flash, baby. I'm shooting all right. That's a goddamn muzzle flash. <laughs> it's all over the freaking place. Does this let me do a scale? No, I guess not. I think you can just kind of scale. No, you can't just scale particles like that, right? Huh. Apparently you can. Can you? Is that actually working? No, you cannot scale particles like that. Uh, so let's actually scale the particle. Loop, you bastard. Oh, there's a, yeah, there's a scaler in this tool set, which is sweet. .5. 420 gun. This look of a ship gun, yeah, it is. It stays there for too long, obviously. Let's mess with the lifetime. Uh, start speed 2.5, start lifetime. Uh, what are these two values? These are like two things. Uh, start lifetime. Is that how it dies? Shape. Uh, over lifetime, size over lifetime. All right, so let's do 0.3 and 0.7. Sponsored by Doritos. Are you sure you're making a MLG Call of Duty game at last? <laughs> I am Sub Sub. Isn't that all you guys ever wanted? I don't know why it teleports around like that. It's trying to like synchronize its view. Why is it still so goddamn big? It's not spawning where I want it at all. Oh, because the actual weapon tip is different from the player. Crap. I don't even know how I'm going to do that. I don't know how to actually spawn. Gun gods are pleased. I don't know how I have to actually... Because the camera for the player is different from the camera for the gun. I guess I could... Yeah, it's really confusing. So weapon tip shouldn't be there. Weapon tip should be like... Here? kind of where it was. 
You know what I want most of all, if not, here's a spoiler. Mecha Finn! Yeah, I feel like it's not really spawning on the weapon tip. It's spawning a little ahead of it. Okay, it's okay. It's not great. Wait, why did this scale back up to one? Do I have to, oh, I have to apply the scaling. Where is it saved to? FX Quest Prefabs Rescale. That's interesting. <laughs> So yeah, this, this thing comes with like a rescaling thing, which is kind of interesting. I don't know what it actually does. I guess it just musters messes with the sizes of all the particle systems. Here we go, see this episode! What? Oh, that sucks! Big one was way cooler. We'll leave the big one in until we figure out something better. We could always mess with these a little bit. I thought start. Let's change the size, I guess. Size over lifetime? Yeah, we could just change this graph. So weird, the size actually affects where in the position of the world it is? Alright. Have you gamed through a virtual machine? I have not. I have a pretty sweet gaming rig, so I don't think I need to. Why are you all the way over there? What? Look, why is it all the way over there? Every time I shoot, it only spawns all the way on the, over that corner. Oh, well, I guess we broke everything. Oh, it's still using the wrong effect. That's 3D air explode, this is the weapon tip. Oops. Yeah, I had switched around the, I put the weapon tip as the particle and then I just put them in the wrong uh, objects. So let's try to scale down the size of this prefab. Got a gif? Shooter of things. Looking good. Looking good. Can't wait to see what it is. Oh, you already got, you already got thingies coming out. Jealous. I don't have thingies coming out of my thing yet. I got smoke cannon balls. All right. So, my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful friends. This was our very first Saturday stream. And it's not just because of the game jam. It is because we have now hit 100, plus 100 subs. We're at 102 subs. Which means two new emotes are coming and one new stream day. That new stream day is Saturdays. Uh, we're going to test it out. See how it goes. It's going pretty well so far, I think. A bunch of jerks hang out. You guys are coming through. We're making games. It's going to be awesome. Thank you so much for hanging out today, guys. Thank you for the new subs. The bits, the cheers, the follows. You guys are freaking amazing. I'm so glad to meet all you new amazing people. Uh, please consider coming back. If you don't want to come back, let me know. 
um, that you hate me, just so that I understand that I did something wrong. You know, it's important that a person feels sad when they did something wrong. So let me know. Uh, you feel special, Xenoron? Well, it's because you're awesome. Look, there's so many enemies. Wait, there's gameplay after that? What? I thought it was just a menu GIF. Hold on. What is this? Wait, still waiting for it. Still waiting. And Vanny, thanks for the cheers. Never coming back, I'm glad. Whoa, top-down shooter, it looks awesome. The green things are coming for you. Dude, this is great progress, holy crap. Freaking awesome. Purple dudes, blue dudes, green dudes. So good. Ah, oh, dude, that is freaking awesome. Great job, holy crap. Your game is coming along so much, I wanna make more stuff in mind now. Guys, anyways, thank you so much for hanging out. It is time for us to go, but don't leave just yet. First of all, if you enjoyed the show, please consider hitting the follow button. If you really, really hate the show, please consider hitting the subscribe button, which is over there now, I think. Um, before you go, let's get ready for a good old fashioned raid. If you don't know how raids work here, we're gonna find a streamer, we're gonna head into their chat, we're gonna show them love and where we where, where we came from and let them know who we are and all the things let's go find some streamers out there in the streamer sphere to raid figure out how to use pi to make my sign waves match the music sweet alien that is awesome that is freaking awesome all right guys we are gonna head over to a very 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 cool stream uh our raid message is going to be uh, the jerk squad has arrived. Surrender your bananas quasi raids. So you want to copy and paste that message as soon as you see me drop it in the chat of the channel We're about to raid. I want you guys to spam their chat with that message as much as you can uh, Let's show them where we came from show them our banana love um, So we are going to be raiding a very good stream friend of ours Mr. Rob the Swan who very recently got partnered on Twitch as well as a fellow game dev streamer He's working on a voxel based game. It's freaking awesome And today he's doing some spooky Halloween interviews with other creatives. So let's go hang out with Rob show him some love Don't forget the raid message wait for me to drop it and then drop it in their chat I'll see you guys on Monday uh, and we're making more progress on our cause jam game Good luck with your jam games. Make sure you tweet me screenshots and all that stuff uh, So I can see your progress as well. I'll see you guys then. Bye head over. Let's go See ya Yes. This fellowship was really crap, like buggy. Like not crap, but it was like really, really buggy. And then the second one was good and the third one was bad maybe. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Do we watch any speed running? Yeah, sometimes I I watched that have you seen that eight minute Zelda? Speed through it's like legit. Like no. They don't use any like. I've seen a few like Mario uh, speed runs because they're kind of fun to watch. I used to play that as a kid. Dudley Tower for NES. Oh, I remember that. I had that. I had that, and I <laughs> I remember it being really really hard. And I remember RoboCop for NES. Oh. Do you remember? And then I would always die. On the second level, when you get into the building, because I would go into a room and then there would be this, like, metal thing with spikes, like, slowly, like, closing in on you. And you tried to jump over and you just couldn't and I would just die all the time. I couldn't I, get I past had, that. I had a uh, Rubik's Open in uh, Game Boy. So. Good old Game, Game Boy. Boy. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm, like, looking through these. Didn't truck have lots of rendering codes and cheats? Yeah. Lots of codes. NMS. Isn't the word? I don't know what NMS is. Is Bryson busy watching? Anyone? No Man's Land. No oh, Man's, no man's uh, Sky. Sorry. 